Welcome to the Cartodromo Internacional Algarve on the southwest tip of Portugal. It's the venue for the Rotax Max Grand Finals, where 276 of the world's best kart racers have been invited to contest what many regard as the most prestigious karting event in the world. They've come from far and wide with drivers and teams travelling from more than 50 different countries just to be here. Over the course of the weekend, there will be grand finals for four different categories. 13 to 16-year-olds will contest the junior class and drivers aged 15 and above contest the senior class, while the DD2 class provides a home for the two-speed gearbox versions of the kart. The fourth category, also for DD2 karts, caters for the Masters drivers, all aged 32 and above. And there's a guest class with the Micromats category for the under-11s. But work begins long before the weekend with timed qualifying and qualifying heats throughout Wednesday and Thursday. From the word go, the pace is frenetic and with all the carts in each class powered by identical 125cc Rotax Max engines, the emphasis is on driver's skill and the team's ability to set up the carts. At this level, fractions of a second can make a huge difference. It's a big deal in world karting and everyone is here to try and win. And sometimes they try a bit too hard. By the time Friday comes around, the warm sunshine has been replaced by rain. It's another busy day with more qualifying heats to get through, plus a series of second chance races. One last opportunity for drivers to make it through to the final stages of the competition. Slippery conditions combined with the pressure on drivers to try and reach the grand finals results in some fraught racing and more than a handful of incidents. And so sadly for some, this will be the end of the road. And so to the first of the grand finals here in Portimao, as the 8 to 11 year olds, some of them no doubt stars of the future, made their way onto the grid for the Micromax race. Having won the pre-final, Spanish driver Oscar Palomo would start from pole position in cart 38. In total, 36 drivers, all running on Praga carts, made up a packed grid. A crescendo of revs rising as the 15-lap race got underway. It was a clean enough start for the pole sitter, but Palomo, with the white helmet, had dropped to third place by the time they came out of the first corner, falling behind 43, Sammy Worship, and the number 10 cart of Adrian Herando, which had moved into the lead from third on the grid. Then, as Paloma tried to snatch second place back, Worship closed the door and the pole sitter found himself dropping another place as the 22 card of Alex Charpentier picked up third. Next in line was number 23, Etten Simmons, a British-born driver who now resides in Madrid. Also in the mix, the 24 card of Daniel Najalis. They continued to race flat out with Asuka Palamo desperately trying to find his way back up the order. But then came more contact. Palomo once again delayed and the driver he hit, number 32, Juan Carlos Rezo Agli, then touched wheels with Charpentier who took a wild ride on the grass as a result. It wasn't long before the battle between Rezo Agli and Palomo resumed and as Najales started to join in, it became obvious that this wasn't going to be Palomo's day. He may have won the pre-final comfortably, but at this rate, he wasn't even headed for the podium. Having worked his way up to second place, Ayrton Simmons set about closing the gap to race leader Adrian Harando. They ran side by side and then Harando nudged his rival and the Epping-born driver was forced onto the grass. The officials took a dim view on the move and after the race they would give Harando a 10-second penalty for unfair driving. And so a race victory became only a ninth place finish for Harando, while Simmons was given the win. Meanwhile, there was an incredibly tight finish for second place with Juan Carlos Rezoagli of Spain beating Portugal's Santino Mendes by just 74 thousandths of a second. Some controversy then, but nonetheless a great victory for 11-year-old Ayrton Simmons and another trophy to add to his growing collection, having already won the 2012 Spanish Championship. Despite his age, Simmons already has plenty of experience, having started his competitive karting career in Spain at the age of just six. And if his performance here at the Grand Finals is anything to go by, then he's definitely one to watch.